Hello friends, welcome to an engineer voice YouTube channel. My name is Isil Khan and in this video we are going to learn about the design axial load strength of column determination. And to determine the design axial load strength of the column, we can of course use the following formula. Just Pn equals pi alpha times 0.85 Fc prime times Ag minus Ast plus Fy times Ast. Where P and equals design axial load strength of the column, pi and alpha are the design capacities. Like for high column, we can use alpha equals 0.80 and pi equals 0.65. For spiral column, we can use alpha equals 0.85 and pi equals 0.75. Also, Fc prime is the grade of concrete, or you can say strength of the concrete, and Fy is the grade of steel. Or you can say strength of the steel. Also, AG is the gross cross sectional area of the column. And lastly, AST is area of steel in section. So, to find or determine the design axial load strength of the column, we'll use the same formula. And I think we should have an example to understand the problem better. Let's say this is example first. And we are asked to determine the design axial load strength for the square tie column. This is just shown right below. We are also informed to take Fc prime as 4 ksi and Fy equals 60 ksi. The column is just like in this palm, the size is known 14 times 14 inches. The main longitudinal bars are at number 6 and the tie which is also known sometimes by a ring is number 3 at the rate 12 inch center to center. Also the concrete cover is 1 and half inch. So the data is just enough to determine the design axial load strength of the given column so I'll come directly into solution. And in the solution, remember that formula. Just Pn pi alpha times 0.85 C prime Ag minus Ast plus Fy Ast. So we need some things for this formula. Let's calculate first the design capacity and that's actually known, right? We have already learned this uh, from the previous slide. The design capacity for the tie column is 0.80 as alpha and pi equals 0.65. Now let's calculate Ag. Ag is the gross cross sectional area of the column. Remember the size of the column is 14 times 14. So it's a square so its Ag must be 14 times 14 which is 196 square inches. Now what should be Ast? Remember Ast is area of steel. And remember the steel is round over there, right? So its cross-sectional area may be pi d square divided by 4. You can also use the formula pi r square, no problem. These both things are the same. And remember the main bars are 8 in number. So I'll multiply this formula with 8. Now we have to do little plug and check in this formula. Like the diameter is known, that's number 6 bar, right? Number 6 means 6 by 8 inches. So pi times 6 by 8 inches squared divided by 4 times 8 and that's AST which is 3.535 square inches. Also Fc prime is known and the Fy is also known. So we have to now do little plug and check in, in the equation 1 that's just the formula number plus. Like Pn equals the pi alpha those are design capacities which are known of course times 0.85 times Fc prime that's 4 ksi only times Ag that's also known right 196 minus Ast which is also known we did this a few seconds ago plus Fy which is also 60 ksi that's known right times Ast again so if you do long mathematics with this using your calculator or mind we'll get Pn equals or the design axial load strength of the given column equals 450.57 kips and that's the answer. So this is how we can determine the design axial load strength of the column. Keep a few things in mind. This is a square column. If the column is a circular column, if it's rectangle or an elliptical column, no problem. The process will be the same. The formula will be the same. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.